people who know me well will tell you that I'm not into a whole lot of promises, but I, I will make a few. We're going to uh, put together and assemble a team, and how long that takes, um, you know, we don't know. But we're going to assemble a team that will make you proud. I can promise you this, we're going to have players that will compete. For new general manager John Lynch of the San Francisco 49ers, his first draft day was a coincidental step back in time. In 1979, Hall of Famer Bill Walsh ran his first draft in San Francisco, and the Niners were coming off a 2-14 season with no quarterback of the future, a kid owner, and a rookie coach and GM. Ditto everything about that for Lynch in 2017. Now on the morning of his first draft as GM, Lynch, armed with the second overall pick, is tasked with turning around this once proud franchise. Morning. Good morning. How you doing, Peter? Good. How you doing? Good. Nice seeing Good to see you. See ya. Happy draft day. Yeah. Lynch played for Walsh at Stanford in 1992, and it hit him at moments like this that this was bigger than just a football job with one of the 32 NFL teams. This franchise used to be great, but no more. So, Peter, I'm new to Twitter because I was I was afraid of it, <laughs> you know. But, <laughs> and so, I uh, advice from all my new GM friends. Get some rest, it's a marathon. Yeah, right. I've been up since 3.30 a.m. <laughs> Let's do this already. <laughs> and now, the fan base was asking this nine-time Pro Bowl safety, bring back the glory days, starting today. Two this is ago. from what night this was? Two months ago when I first got here. <laughs> you can be kidding me. No, they left it as a welcome before you. <laughs> I keep thinking they'll get it, but I think I need to put it outside. <laughs> when I played in my biggest games, when I played in the Super Bowl, you were up early because you're excited, you're prepared, but you're, uh, you're ready. Bill Parcells sent something to Jed York the other day that Jed passed on to me. You better have a specific vision for each player that you're drafting, otherwise uh, you shouldn't draft them. And I know with Coach Walsh it was always about the preparation, and so I think now you just go play the game. Normally, at midday, it's a beehive at the Niners football offices. Today, it's mostly dead. But in Coach Kyle Shanahan's office, final plans are being made for who to take and where to trade the second overall pick in the draft. We're taking over a two and 14 team. We need a lot of different players. What if Chicago is moving up to get Trubisky and Solomon's there at three and the phone rings? Are we taking them or are we moving? To me, you're taking Solomon or you're taking Solomon unless someone offers you a really good deal. Yeah. At that point. You're taking if for some reason if you're at two and Garrett fell to two, you're taking Garrett unless someone offers you an unbelievable deal. Yeah. At some point you gotta pick someone you love and feel passionate about, you know? Yeah, you just gotta make sure you love yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, make sure you do. No, like exactly. Yeah, that's why I like yeah, some That's what we've been talking about for the last two hours. So. Yeah. That's why the goal is to get more, not the guy. That's yeah. we have to get more. It's we're not. It's not a guy in this draft, in my opinion. But you also don't want to just trade back and take fourteen guys who aren't guys. Yeah. We eventually got to take someone. You say what if what if uh, if Foster falls, pre falls, and he's sitting there at twenty five. The, to me, that's easy. Like that's. Like to me, you know, like I'm hoping we can keep getting stuff and get to 18th. That's where I would love to take him. And if we value a player for us and we love his qualities, then we're taking them and we don't, you know. The Niners will trade down from two to three with Chicago for three draft picks, unless Lynch gets blown away with an offer from another team. I just, I, two things, two things need to happen. Cleveland needs to not do something crazy, um, and we need to not get a crazy phone call, right? Like, I mean, what can, if, if someone calls us and offers us four ones, uh, which isn't happening, but, uh, but uh, we just have to protect that. But other than that, like, we, will, we, will, we are good to go, um, and we will make this deal. So you're 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 close to a handshake. We're high fiving. We're not yet handshaking. We need it. Okay. Can you tell me who you're taking? I'm just so curious. He said, uh, you know, I can't tell you. There's people in our building that don't know, but if you're talking about being comfortable, I think you guys are going to be comfortable with what we do. 
The trade works right. very okay. well. Okay, we're making a trade here with Chicago. We're going to go back to three. We're going to get their three, their 67 in the third round, their 111 in the fourth round, and next year's third round, 2018 third round. Lynch gets the man at three, would have taken it two. Defensive lineman Solomon Thomas. Solomon. It's John Lynch. How you doing, buddy? You want to be a 49er? Yeah. Right on, buddy. We're happy to have you. We're thrilled. And uh, you just have to move 15 minutes down the road, so you're good, buddy. Well, hey, enjoy the night, man. You deserve all that you've earned it. And it's just starting. You get here tomorrow and we'll go to work. All right, man? I'm good. Call me Jed, please. We're fired up to have you. All right, let's hear it. For Solomon. Shot. What do you guys want to do now? <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the night, a wild ride. The Niners have Alabama linebacker Reuben Foster third on their draft board. And for two hours and 50 minutes, they try to trade up for a pick to draft him. With the 31st pick of the night, they finally make their deal. They get Foster. Lynch, for the first time all night, is euphoric. Lynch began the day with the second pick of the draft. And after a wild day of dealing, he emerged with two day one starters, Solomon Thomas and Reuben Foster, and two extra draft picks. Uh, when you're prepared, uh, you, you've done the hardest part. And then, and then you go and the fruits of your labor get turned into action. And I think that's exactly what happened. We got two of the top three on our entire board. We would have just had Solomon or just Reuben. We would have been excited. We got both of them. I want to believe you. Yeah, this is a great day for the Niners. Everyone is very happy, but it's it's not time to uh, throw a parade. You know, we got two very good players. We got a long way to go. 